welcome to my channel. This is Amy. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how I am going to uh, stencil this particular design onto another uh, flower stock dish towel. And it's, it's pumpkin time with a pumpkin on it. I am going to be testing, because I did a couple other uh, towels using the folk art multi-surface paint but now I've switched to um, you trying the jacquard textile paint and this is going to be orange for the pumpkin and I just wanted to try a couple samples before buying a, a lot of this type of paint but I am going to see how it works before I do that and then this is the Jacquard textile paint for black. Alright, so I'm going to start off, I should start off with the black because it's up here. I'm going to use a couple different stencil brushes. And these are Waverly brushes. Uh, five eighths and looks like a half an inch. Alright, so I'm going to use the half an inch for the smaller uh, text. These towels have already been pre-washed, just so that you're, you know, aware of that. This paint does have to be heat set. In my trial before, you might want to check out that video. I heat set one of them and did not heat set the other one and then washed them again. So I'm trying to do this trial before I actually would start selling these so that I know what I'm actually selling. I, I like to try to do that just to make sure that it's a good product. Alright, so let's get started on this. I'm just going to dip my stencil brush into the actual jar and then I topped it on paper towel and I'm just going to come through here and try to get it as good as I can, as solid as I can on the actual design. Now, I do on this particular uh, project, I'm using contact paper for the stencil. So it's a one-time stencil. And I do have wax paper underneath my towel as well as the coated cardboard. It's actually the shape of a shirt, but I like to use it. It's, uh, it's a Donna Dewberry one stroke type product for fabric painting and I like to use that but I do also recommend placing some uh, wax paper in between just to keep it clean and help move the shirt because you will need to let this dry and then heat set it after it has dried. I'm just pouncing up and down quickly and I will pull the stencil off as soon as I get done with the pumpkin. I want to make sure I get it covered well. This is a very thin font. I think it's skinny mini or something. I'll have to look it up but it's a very thin, like I said, thin font. Kind of to, for me, I guess is to look Just kind of similar, and I can't even think of her name. Ray Dunn to her products. I like the, I like her skinny font. I don't know what her, what her font is actually called, but this one reminds me of that. So I am trying to tap this on pretty heavy, but again, tapping my excess off on a paper towel. at it, make sure I get good coverage. Especially since it's so thin, I want to make sure it covers. Now, while I'm giving that some time, I'm going to bounce over here to the orange and hit the pumpkin. Now, the, the problem, I'm concern I have with the pumpkin is that these little pieces here are so very thin and they 
don't stick very well. So I may not get some great lines, uh, but this is just a trial piece anyway, so if they're not crisp, so be it. I've already shook this paint. It does require shaking. I've shook it. I'm going to go ahead and get started here on this pumpkin. I do feel that these colors are very bright, vibrant, which is good. And with this too, when I used to do stenciling, I don't have to actually cover the whole area, although on this towel I'm going to. You, know, you can do some like shading where you just kind of go in a little bit and go around it and leave some of it the white showing or the base color showing from underneath. That's cute too. But again, for the sake of this project, I'm going to be trying to do it full coverage as much as possible. Actually, the art form I started out doing because I really wasn't a free-handed artist at all and I'm still really not not anything like my my son I have a very very talented son and the arts and such a gift Now on this piece, I will let you know, I will do a follow-up on this too, to show you the results. But I really kind of think, hopefully this pumpkin pulls off nicely, but I really kind of think by the coverage I'm getting, it's pretty, it's a pretty uh, vibrant paint. Alright, here goes nothing. I probably should make sure my hands are cleaned off, but this my hand is not. I am going to pull, wish me luck, keep your fingers crossed. And just try to pull up to get it away from there as quickly as possible. Okay. Looks pretty good. Now, I'm not going to fuss with it right now because the pumpkin, the pumpkin here uh, needed to, I had to do it this way. I will go back in with a, uh, with a fine liner brush and tap that in. So I'm not going to mess with it right now. I just want to. I get a little nervous when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's like, leave it alone, let it dry, let it sit, let it dry. Just let it be so you don't make, make matters worse. Oh, I think that's a piece of lint. Okay. The only thing I ever see on these when I'm doing them is there is some fuzz. Not fuzz as far as the floating through the air, but like on the fabric itself. So when you're doing it, you see, you know, some fuzziness. Uh, I guess that's just just going to be there. So, anyways, but like I said, I will go back in and and fill those in with a liner brush once this dries. But I'm not going to mess with it right now. I don't want to. Do not definitely do not want to ruin it. All right. So if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel and that you. Uh, hit that notification bell when you're done doing that and watch the video at the end please make sure you hit on the subscribe button that that is underneath the video so you can share this or not subscribe button but the share button excuse me so that you can share this on your social networks with your friends and family 
Alright, until the next time, you have a good one. Hey, I'm back again. I just thought I would show you. I just went ahead and filled in the peas so you could actually see it once it was uh, completed. So I went ahead and did that, and I'm happy with how it's turned out so far. I'm going to allow it to dry and do the wash test, or do the heat set, and then do the wash test. And I will be back to you at some point with another video to let you know what my results were. Alright, once again, have a good one. Thanks.